This video tutorial shows you how to find suitable Macs and controllers for your application. The controller, being at the heart of a drive system, has to fulfill several requirements. The most important one is to match the required task. What has to be controlled in the application? Speed, position or torque? The second point to consider is the type of command and the general system architecture. Where do the commands come from and how do they look like? Is the master system a PLC, a PC host or a microcontroller? Or is there a simple voltage set value? Of course, the controller needs to be made for the type of motor, be it brushed or brushless DC. And it must match the sensor type in terms of supplying power and understanding the sensor signals. The controller should be adapted to the supply voltage range and be able to handle the required electrical current. Modern controllers are quite versatile concerning motor and encoder types, communication and operation modes. This requires proper setup or configuration. Let me first give a very general overview on the Maxon controller families. The SCON family is the first choice when it comes to dynamic speed control with analog set value. Cost-effective electronic commutation of brushless motors and simple speed control can be achieved with the DEC modules. The members of the EPOS family are the standard positioning or motion controllers which can open as the standard communication. The MAX products are multi-axis master systems with or without integrated power stage. They serve for the synchronization of dynamic multi-axis applications. The control performance increases from bottom to top in this representation. DEC and SCON are speed controllers, e EPOS and MAX are position controllers. We need to have a look at the MAX and controller families not only with the focus on what kind of control they are made for, but also with the focus on how they are commanded. The simplest way of commanding is by digital and analog in and outputs. For example, setting a speed by an analog voltage or changing direction with a digital high-low voltage signal. More sophisticated systems use bus communication with a master unit. At Maxon we use the cost-effective can open and the high-performing EtherCAT communication. Master systems coordinate several axes and other system components. It's quite clear that the general architecture of the system, the master and the communication of the application at hand, will have a major influence on the controller selection. The second feature is the kind of control. There are three main types, torque control, speed control and position control. In speed control, we have to distinguish between simple one quadrant speed control, usually working with low resolution feedback, and dynamic four quadrant speed control with higher resolution feedback. Position controllers can usually also be set up as speed controllers. Torque controller motors is equivalent to current control. It is the lowest control level. Controller with a torque control mode may be used as inner loop in an external speed or position control loop. Let us place the MAX and controller families in this scheme. The DEC modules are a simple one quadrant open loop or closed loop speed control based on the low resolution Hall sensor feedback. An analog 0 to 5 volt signal serves as the speed set value. SCON servo controllers are four quadrant dynamic speed controllers for brushed or brushless motors. The SCON controllers are commanded by digital and analog IOs. There is no bus interface, the USB connection serving for configuration purposes only. The SCON controllers are very versatile concerning feedback and set value options, as well as the configuration of the inputs and outputs. EPOS position controllers are can open or either cat slaves. Set values and all other commands are sent across the CAN bus system. Lower performance alternatives are the serial RS232 or USB connections. 
EPOS controllers are not only position controllers, but can also be set up for torque or speed control. EPOS 4 is the newest generation with improved performance and power, and a modular design that allows further implementation of additional features. The MAX controller contains a high-end CAN Open or EtherCAD master and, and offers expensive functionality for axis coordination and multi-axis control. It is used in demanding applications in terms of dynamics, precision and synchronization. In summary, the pure speed controllers DEC and ESCON are commanded by simple digital and analog IOs only. The position controllers EPOS need a master system with more sophisticated bus communication, such as the MAX products can provide. Simple IOs will not do the job. A short look at possible motors and feedback sensors. The main task of the DEC modules is to provide block commutation for brushless motors with hall sensors. The hall sensors are also used to get a low resolution speed feedback. There is no encoder feedback possible and the DEC modules cannot be used with brushed motors. S-Con servo controllers come in different versions for brushed or brushless motors. Speed feedback can be provided by encoders or DC tacos or by hall sensors only. Open loop operation is possible as well. There is even an S-Con module for sensorless EC motors. Feedback from encoders is mandatory for the position controller, be it EPOS or MAX. Depending on the exact controller type, a variety of encoders can be used. EPOS and MAX can power brushed motors or brushless motors with hall sensors. Some practical issues when selecting a controller. Power. The main difference between the different versions within one controller family is the supply voltage range and the current capabilities indicated in the designation. The maximum current rating is typically twice or three times higher than the continuous current rating and can be available up to a minute. Between the different controller types there may also be differences in the number and functionality of the additional IOs. Select the version that fits best your application. Maxon controllers are made for a wide variety of motors and sensors. Check, check in the Maxon selection guide if the electrical interfaces of the specific motor and controller match or if special adapters, cables and connectors are needed. Some combinations may also need additional inductances or motor chokes. This is particularly the case when using modules. The intention of the controller modules is to be integrated in the electronics of the application. However, for testing there are evaluation boards available with all the necessary electrical connections, capacitors and motor chokes in place. For all controllers, all the documentation and software is for free and can be found on the Maxon website. As a summary, what are typical application fields for the Maxon controllers? The DEC is a simple speed controller, typically used for applications such as roller blind drives, blowers and pumps, or cutting and grinding devices. The ESCON is a very versatile dynamic current and speed controller. It can be used when the requirements about control performance are higher, as in conveyor belts, all kinds of handheld tools and scanners. The EPOS is the standard solution for positioning and or if a bus communication is required. Typical applications include all kinds of actuators, laboratory automation, door drives and similar. Demanding multi-axis control as in robotics, pick and place and on-the-fly processing are also possible thanks to the very performant EtherCAT communication. And the MAX products offer the perfect master systems for these purposes. That's it. A short introduction to the Maxon controllers and their selection. Thank you.